Hi everyone, welcome to my new video. Today, I will analyze the tracklist of Jungkook's album Golden, and also show you guys my theory about how his songs are connect with Liz Cook and their love story over the years. But first, let's start by looking closely to the title of each song. As you can see, there are 11 tracks in JK's album. As you could see by the titles, his album is a mix of happy beat songs and very sad ones with deep meanings, which made me think that maybe somehow the songs could be related with the mysterious love story of Liz Cook over the past years. I mean, Jungkook debuting his first solo album, he probably wanted to show a little bit more of his private life as Jeon Jungkook, especially because he wouldn't like to be singing something that he doesn't connect with. So that's why this project has so much meaning behind it. Because an artist, especially Jungkook, would never approve a song to become a track to his solo album that doesn't represent him as a solo artist. And because this album contain only songs talking about love and one as specifically girl only, we can conclude Jungkook is trying to hint us about his girlfriend and how they face their problems as a couple. But let's organize our ideas. Like I said, his album have 11 tracks. However, I realize they represent a chronologic timeline that literally represent Liz Cook's story since 2016-2017. Starting with Yes or No and ending with Standing Next to You, this whole album was planned very precisely. But maybe you are questioning yourself why I'm assuming Yes or No is chronologically the first song representing Liz Cook's love story. And to get my point of view, we need to start analyzing her lyrics. Jungkook start the song saying, This ain't another love story and, it's my way of putting feelers out. Because unlike the normal love songs that we constantly hear, GK is not trying to make it look like everything is perfect. And by using this song, he is exactly trying to put all his feelers out, telling the world of how he felt. Next he say, I'm gonna trust my heart right now and after this, he start using three times the expression, and if, demonstrating that he was unsure if the relationship was going to work out or not, however he was ready to discover it, I gotta know. In the chorus, we have now Jungkook questioning the girl if she is feeling the same that he does, he say, are you feeling the rush? Concluding that if yes, then she is also in love. Are we falling in love? Jungkook question demanding a response yes or no. I mean, this is literally how a love story starts. In the two verse of the song, we can see Jungkook saying two things connected with Lisa. He say if we forever started out as strangers, I think my ever after just came true, and we will go higher and higher, but we're not looking down. So the first one is related to the most famous Liz Cook theories, since a lot of Liz Cookers believe Liz Cook meet through Bam Bam Lisa's best friend, when Lisa was still a trainee however, since she was only a rookie and under YG with very strict dating rules. She was concerned of getting a crush on GK, or being close to him, because she wanted to be 100% focused on her career that she worked so hard to achieve. Not only that, but she saw the case of Mayan, ex-former member of Blackpink and now a member of G-Idol, who was kicked off the team because of dating rumors. So when Jungkook say they started as strangers, and he thought they would stay strangers forever, that makes sense, knowing Lisa's insecurities at her trainee's days. That's why Jungkook demand the answer, a simple yes or no from Lisa to understand if she is liking him or not. Now about the second phrase Jungkook say, first we can understand, 
Jungkook is talking about a girl who is also a celebrity, we go higher and higher, so she's also famous. And also, from this phrase, we can understand, he makes a reference to Lisa verse in Blackpink's song We Never Know, when she say, I can't fly while looking at the ground, which is literally what Jungkook say we will go higher and higher, so they fly high, but they never look down at the ground. Then again, Jungkook repeat the chorus part. He again asked for an answer, yes or no, asking her if she is also thinking about them. To conclude this song, we have the bridge where Jungkook takes this opportunity to say how special this girl is, when he say, something about you and there's magic in the room. Which confirm the theory that Jungkook fell in love with Lisa first, since he say do you feel the way I do? And lastly, he say tell me what we gonna do, which can resume very well the situation of two teenagers, with millions of fans who don't support them together, and a toxic company and staffs who don't even allow them to see or talk, but they are starting to like each other. So yes or no is clearly the first song, but which one would be the next one? Here's where I start my new theory. In my opinion, yes or no, somebody, too sad to dance, hate you and shot glass of tears, are songs of Jungkook's album who represent the past of Liz Cook love story, while the rest of the songs represent the present, what they are living right now. That would make sense since Golden have 11 tracks, 5 of them represent the past, 5 represent the present, which give us 10 tracks plus 7 explicit version which is only a plus in his album as a different version of the original song only. So basically, this is the division of Golden, but please have in mind a very important thing. Euphoria was a solo song that Jungkook debuted in 2018, and his first solo song. However, I believe that song was supposed to be in this album because after Yes or No, I think Euphoria was the next one in this chronological timeline. Because in Euphoria, Jungkook talks about a relationship that already exists, so he is already dating the girl, even calling her as his Euphoria. So, the girl from the song Yes or No, said yes and they started finally dating. Jungkook was happy. And that's why Euphoria is a love song. But as we know, a relationship is never perfect. And as a couple, they probably had problems, especially a relationship between them as two big celebrities, in a country where idols can have their reputation completely destroyed by being associated with dating rumors. Please, if you don't understand how dating scandals work in South Korea with K-pop idols, please pause this video and read this small explanatory notes that will help you getting why they are banned from dating. Since this is a very different reality from the Western music industry, for example. Now, going back in the timeline, in Golden, after Euphoria, we have the first sad song, indicating that the problems between the couple started to appear. Yes, the next one is the song Somebody from JK's album, but why? Let's analyze the lyrics of this song, shall we? Jungkook starts saying, same back roads, switching lanes. Same back roads, that is, a metaphor to same problems. And the switching lanes, a metaphor to both of them always arguing about the same problems, even changing lanes every time. Because think with me, when we are on a road, despite changing lanes, we will always end up at the same destination. Well, even though they tried to change the direction, the unresolved problems always came back and caused arguments again. He also say, don't turn around and act like you don't feel the same. This is a message to Lisa, because at the end they knew this problems were negatively affecting their love relationship. And they both knew that was time to let go, at least for some time. Again, notice the reference to Lisa's solo debut song, because Jungkook says, say it again, say it again and Lisa in her solo song, in the chorus says, say la Lisa love me, say la Lisa love me. Now about the chorus. The main focus of this song is to tell the other person, in this case Lisa, that he hopes she will find somebody. Somebody, in Jungkook's mind, 
better than him, that will be able to be there for her no matter what. Somebody to ride, somebody to die. With this verses, we can also see how Jungkook felt inferior and not good enough for her to the point where he preferred her to be with someone else so she could be even happier. Here we clearly see Jungkook's insecurities reflected in this relationship. Next he repeat the phrase, hope you know that somebody ain't me multiple times. But wait, look at this. La la la, hope you know that somebody ain't me. I don't even need to tell you. Who is he trying to refer by using? La la la, right. And you can't even deny this because Jungkook made a point of making it clear that there are three law that are used in his music. Exactly like the name that Lisa has as her username on her official Instagram account. He was saying, Lisa, I hope you know that somebody ain't me. Next we have the last part that we will analyze. As you can see, here, Jungkook accept that the relationship changed because of recurring problems, and now they have entered into a mechanical relationship. Another hint in this part is the phrase, pull the card. This is because in the last dance film that Lisa made for her Lilifilm channel, she highlights a scene where she pulls the card from behind her back. Now ending the song, Jungkook repeat the last parts again, saying they both knew it was time to let go, and hoping the La 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 finds somebody better. This song end, of course, with the La 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 part, almost like Jungkook asking Lisa to listen to him and not pretend that everything was fine. Okay, let's move on. The next song is Too Sad To Dance. This is because, now that the relationship ended, Jungkook was going through a difficult phase where even doing his job, being an idol, was difficult. Hence the name, Too Sad To Dance, because he was too sad to dance and be an idol. He started the song saying, I found a message in a bottle. It said, go home, ain't nobody love you no more. Even though in somebody, Jungkook said that Lisa should find a better person, he was really sad about the separation, and we can see that when he says ain't nobody love you no more, he believed that nobody loved him anymore. In this song we also understand that Jungkook saw drinking as a way to heal his broken heart. He says, I went to the club, had a couple too many threw up. And then he repeats, I'm too sad to dance. The dancing here would mean that he is too sad to do something that always made him happy. He's too sad to even be able to hang out with his friends at the party, because all he can think about is the relationship. And also because, as you know, Lisa is known for her dance skills, being Blackpink's main dancer and even having participated in a dance competition in China. So, here the dance also could be because, when Jungkook danced, he always remembered Lisa. In the second part, he says, cause I got to caught up, my friends agree. This could mean that maybe his close friends commented that Jungkook was so obsessed with the idea that he wasn't good enough for Lisa that in the end, it only resulted in a broken heart and nobody. Next he say, and now I just wait by the telephone, another reference of Liz Cook. Starting in 2019, we started to see Liz Cook sending shades to each other through their songs. We start with Lisa in the Blackpink song, Don't Know What To Do, where in her verse she says that she is waiting for a call from someone and how much she hates that she has to wait to receive it. So she refers a call from a specific person in 2019. And in 2020, Jungkook says in his second solo song, My Time, that, oh, I can't call you, I can't hold you, oh, I can't and yes, you know that. This time, Jungkook makes it clear that Lisa was talking about a call from him and that she was waiting so long because he couldn't call her. This subject continues, since, in 2021, Lisa wrote some verses for her cover of the song Say So from Doja Cat. She said, so, like, whenever you call, I'm like, what do you want? But like whenever you don't, your phone is broken or something. It's funny because just some time after, she asked if this person's cell phone was broken and why he wouldn't call her. Jungkook says on his live, on Weavers, that his cell phone was broken. He said specifically that his phone cracked, so he put a tape on it. But the funniest thing is that before Lisa did this cover, Jungkook had shown his cell phone and it was perfect. However, after Lisa said this, Jungkook shows his broken cell phone. And once again, we have Jungkook saying that Lisa won't come back, 
something that he knew it would happen. Because after all, was him who decided to break up. And once again he says, that he is too sad to dance. Isn't that funny? Why wouldn't say that he is too sad to sing, since he is one of the main vocalists of BTS? He refers specifically dance, which is something that we automatically associated with Lisa, and not Jungkook himself. Next, I'm going to analyze the penultimate song that still talks about Liz Cook's past, called Hate You. Before anyone says, oh, my god, he's saying he hates Lisa, let's actually look at the facts, which in this case, is the message of the lyrics, considering that at the moment they are not together. I wish you went behind my back and told me lies, I wish you kissed someone I know and did the unforgivable. Maybe hating you is the only way it doesn't hurt. So basically Jungkook said that he wished she did something wrong in their relationship like, kissing other person or went behind Jungkook's back, but she never did. That way, their breakup would cover some of Jungkook's pain. So he did it, he paint Lisa as the villain that she never were and blame her for things that she didn't do, in an attempt of erase his pain. Until I put all of our pain under the microscope, here Jungkook is saying how he was the one messing their relationship, turning something small into a big problem. And you can see that Jungkook was the one that couldn't come with an apology, he only knew how to admit his mistakes when he was drunk, something Lisa didn't like. He ends the song saying that it's not true that he hates her, and he knows that this won't be the cure to get over the breakup, but it's the only way for him not to suffer over the consequences of his own actions, and how he destroyed the only thing that was worth it, their love. To conclude the first part of this video, we have to analyze the song, Shot Glass of Tears, the saddest of the entire album. In this song, Jungkook is in a phase of post-breakup sadness, where now, yes, he has accepted that things are over and hence the tears. He asks, am I ever gonna heal again? Got a shot glass full of tears, here is a metaphor for the glasses of wine that he initially drank, but which now, instead of wine, are full of his own tears. And after he says that, he drinks his tears, he talks about the girl, Lisa, the reason behind the sadness, saying that she has dangerous hobbies. And as we know, Lisa learned for her solo La Lisa, pole dance, something that not only left her with a lot of muscle pain, but also neck pain that did not allow her to perform in one of the concerts. <laughs> or even box, which is another of her hobbies. He also makes sure of saying, like chasing after the sun and making me fall in love. This of course, it's a reference to Lisa and her lyrics in Sexy Girl. She say, till the sun comes up, I'll be here with you. The reference to the sun is because chasing after the sun symbolizes something impossible or very difficult to achieve. This idea of chasing something unattainable can be compared to the process of falling in love, where Jungkook felt attracted to Lisa, an idol from one of his rival companies and one of the groups that the armies hated the most. After this part, Jungkook lists some things he did while he was going through this recovery, such as, driven a hundred, with my hands off the wheel, just to see how it feels. This shows that he was careless with everything around him, drinking and driving aimlessly. Because for him it was something hard to swallow, that the relationship had come to an end because of him, even though they both still liked each other. He says, I was cold now, I'm freezing, because before he thought he the big problem was him feeling insufficient for her. But now, without her, he realized that the biggest problem was being without her. 
I'm not the same as before, I don't feel anymore. Here is Jungkook explaining that he feels empty. Without Lisa in his life, he doesn't feel anything anymore, asking himself if am I ever gonna feel again? And that's how he ends the song, talking again about her, the reason why he is in this stay of sadness. And that's how we end the first part of this video, talking about Liz Cook's love story between 2016 and 2019, where they had many difficulties and moments of uncertainty. This doesn't mean that they are not together today, on the contrary, since in the second part I will talk about the songs that represent Liz Cook's present, in which they are very well and happy, having overcome these problems and matured. Another thing I noticed is that if we analyze the musicality of the songs I analyzed, from this first part, we realize that they gradually convert from a more fun and pop musicality, to a sad and calm musicality. As if to demonstrate the sadness that Jungkook gradually began to feel. Thank you for watching another video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And leave a positive comment. Goodbye everyone.